What's going on guys? This is Nick from Budget Bill Garage and today we're putting seat belts in the 67 Camaro. Now I was driving it the other day, it was fun, I had, I had a blast in it. Um, it's a little sketchy, also it has zero seat belts in it so I figured I'd take this time to kind of put something nice in this since like my wife's going to be driving this and really it's going to be on the road a lot. So instead of just doing a lap belt like I probably normally would, um, I wanted to go ahead and do like a shoulder belt as well as an inertia reel. If you don't know what that is, basically when you slam on the brakes in any modern car, you could feel like you could feel the seatbelt lock up on you. That's your inertia reel. I needed one of those as well as the shoulder harness just to kind of make this thing make it safer, you know. Obviously these aren't the safest cars in the whole world. There's no airbags or anything, but that's okay. I'm gonna do what I can on this. Um, the kit I got is from Retro Belt. Um, it comes with a ton of hardware, pretty much everything you would need to put it into almost any vehicle as far as I can tell. It comes with um, coarse threaded stuff, it comes with fine threaded stuff, some big washers to kind of sandwich between the plates of like a floorboard to kind of give it more strength. Um, the belts themselves, I went with an aviation style buckle. I just think it's kind of a cool look and honestly I'm pretty excited with this kit so far. I've never used it. Like I said, it's about 200 bucks and that'll do everything, the hardware, the belts for the front seats. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and toss those on. I'm gonna go ahead and start by doing the tunnel side. Um, it's a really easy process since I'm reusing that bolt hole. It's as easy as putting the bolt through it and tightening it up and then we can move on to the other side. It does come with a couple brackets that I find to be perfect for my application. Um, it seems to line right up and bolt right up like it was meant to be there. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that thing in and we'll hang the belt. All right, so we're in the car. You can see right here, this is what I was talking about. These are already drilled and tapped. They came like this. Um, this is one of the pieces I was showing you earlier, and it lines up perfectly. Really just... Just like that. So I'm gonna put it in everything loose. I'm gonna go ahead and mount it on the floor as well. And I'll kind of mock everything up and see if I like the way it goes, and then I'll go and bolt it in for uh, final assembly, so to speak. Okay, so that bolts in perfectly. Um, I'm gonna go hang the shoulder harness, and then we're also gonna put the reel on the floor, make sure everything looks good, and then, um, yeah, I think I'll just bolt that thing up. When you're in the car, take the inertia reel. It comes with this little fork thing. It makes it a lot easier if you take a bunch of this out and then put this fork thing on it just like that, and that'll keep it from retracting. So you can set it on the floor without it trying to reel itself in and hang this guy. Actually, I'm gonna put the spacer here first so it'll get away from these bolts. Now that it's hanging there, I'm gonna go ahead and, and address the bolting on the bottom of this thing. All right, so for me, I was able to bolt this thing right in its original location. Obviously, the reel didn't come with it, but the lap belt itself, I bolted it in that location. Um, before I did that though, before I took the seat out, I put it where it needed to be and I put the seat in its farthest back position because you need to make sure that thing goes all the way back before you bolt this thing in or you won't get full extension on your seat. And if anyone's tall, it's gonna be a pain to drive. So make sure, it clears. If not, you can kind of find a new mounting place. Um, if you're gonna do that, use some of those big washers that supplied you on the top and the bottom to sandwich together, give it a little more strength. But honestly, this is a straightforward, easy installation. Um, yeah. Now that all the belts have been bolted in, everything's where I want it, I went ahead and tightened everything down. I'm gonna throw the seat back in to make sure I was right, make sure it still clears, and then uh, let's see if these uh, seat belts work. As far as the inertia reel, you can feel it lock if you give it a good jolt, just exactly what we want. It flows regularly, normally, and it locks up when you hit it hard. So that's exactly what I wanted. I'm going to put the seat in, buckle up, make sure it's comfortable, and um, after that I think we'll be good.
All right, so you can tell this thing works exactly how it's supposed to. It retracts just fine, but if you need to, you feel it lock right up. This is awesome. I'm very happy with this so far. Obviously, I gotta, you know, drive around for a while and decide if it was a mistake because sometimes these bug. But uh, as a whole, I like it. I got seatbelts now. Now I can add some power to this thing, do some donuts, do some burnouts, and um, honestly, I got some cool stuff for this thing coming. Tell me what kind of seatbelts you have in your car if you even use seatbelts. I know a lot of people don't. Most people just lap belt. Um, the Pontiac's just a lap belt. The El Camino's just a lap belt. But honestly, after using this, I might switch them all over to this. Um, tell me what you think. If you like the episode, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next episode.